Hi folks, it's Pete, back with another video after a couple of weeks. This one was originally going to be uh, about the records I bought at the Carlisle Record Fair, but unfortunately that was cancelled and put back till the end of October. I say unfortunately, maybe fortunately given the, the amount of money I've spent on other records in the meantime. Anyway, this gives me a chance to do the second part of the Svart uh, video. Um, as I said before, Svart is a Finnish label that as well as re releasing new stuff also does a lot of re-releases of Finnish uh, jazz fusion and prog rock stuff. Uh, and I've bought quite a lot over the last two or three years from them. Now there's going to be about 30 odd records here to, to go through so I'll have to uh, go through them fairly swiftly in order to keep the time down. So let's start with, in alphabetical order I think, uh, with the band Far Out. Now this was originally released on the Compass Records label in 1979. And he's probably pretty much typical jazz fusion that you can expect from Finland in, during that period. Group features two keyboards, so there's plenty of keyboard playing, two guitarists and bassist and drummer. Really nice stuff. Next up is the album. Bear with me is the album Flying High Running Fast by the band Harvest. Now Harvest were actually the band uh, Elon Koryu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, their debut album was more in the uh, prog rock vein. This it was so different that the, the record label decided to translate their name to its English equivalent Harvest and this is more in the uh, instrumental fusion vein. Decent album, not essential but worth having. Next up is the album Think Tank Funk by Isa Helasvual. Now, don't believe the title, this isn't a funk album. This is uh, probably what you might call chamber music, psychedelic avant-garde. Really nice. Uh, Hel Helasvual, or however, sorry, however pronounce his name, is a pianist and plays acoustic and uh, electric piano on this album, I think. Well worth trying out. Carrying swiftly on. Next come up two of my favourites albums from Svart. And they're by Ero Kofisteinonen. The first one is called I think it's his sixth album. Um, he used to be a member of a band called Blue Section and has, after leaving them uh, had a load of his own jazz ensembles. This one's credit to Eero Kofistein and, and, and Co. Playing on here as part of his band is the superb guitarist Jukka Tolanen. Go. Let's see. This one again is a f jazz fusion album, but also with a strong Latin flavour. Lots of power and ferocity on the four long tracks. Excellent. I really love this album. And probably maybe even better is the one under his Music Society group called Wahoo. This will be his seventh. Again, both of these albums were released in 1973. 
on the RCA Victor label originally. There's no Tollenden on this one, but it's again long tracks, plenty, you know, instrumental served up with plenty of power, superb. I'll just show you the sort of things you get inside as well with these. You get a details and discography of other albums. We'll have to try sometime. Next up is a totally different album. And this one's by Essa Kotelainen. Ayatus Lapsi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this one is the electronic ambient music, uh, owing something to the German Cosmischers type of music. But I've got to read you a, a quote about this from Julian Cope's site, which he says, he calls it a spinning, wheeling, crying, glowing, pulsating, throbbing, ebbing, flowing piece of electronic wonderment and awe. Without doubt, one of the most interesting pieces of mid to late 70s minim minimalist electronic music I've ever heard. Do you, <laughs> that makes you want to listen to this. <laughs> Great stuff. Next, and unusually... This isn't a re-release. This is a modern album. And this is Sonny Simmons and Moksha Samyasin's Nomadic. This is from 2014. Now, I haven't heard of uh, Sonny Simmons before, but he's 82-year-old saxophone player who's been around, obviously, for quite a long time. Uh, the band with him are, are a French trio who uh, play, uh, play bass, drums with some electronics and sitar. I absolutely love this album. It is superb and I'd recommend anybody get it, getting it. In fact, I've got two <laughs> because Savard were doing a sale and this was about five or six euros. Brilliant. After that, we come to a Finnish guitarist who I think I've uh, mentioned on the first part of the Svart uh, video that I did. This is Nono Soderberg with his album Nono. This was uh, from 1976 on the Hi-Hat label. Look. Again, some great Finnish fusion. Uh, he's an excellent guitarist, and Pekka Poiri plays Saxon flute on this one, so it's got to be worth having. All right, what have we got next? Next up is the album Tabula Rasa, Tabula Rasa, and this one's from 1975 and was on the famous label Love Records. Now this is pure uh, prog rock uh, in the vein of some of the Italian, early Italian stuff, uh, maybe Camel, Frog, that type of thing. I, I absolutely love this album, it's, it's superb. Next four are by the two most famous um, groups probably to come out of Finland. And the first is Tasavalan Presidenti. Brilliant band who uh, had Jukka Tolan as the, their guitarist. This is their first album. Just self-titled. Oops. That way. <laughs> it's got the lyrics. Now, Svart have 
have uh, redone this as a double album though the second disc uh, side 3 is just the A and B side of a, a 1969 single and side 4 is the A and B side of a, a 1970 single now this is very much in the uh, prog rock blues vein um, sort of similar maybe to traffic that sort of thing but it's lots of flute and sax very nice album now by their neck the second I haven't got the second album which is a, a rarer beast but I have got their third which is probably my favorite album to come out of Finland and that's their album uh, Lambertland I love that cover as well now by this point they drop the uh, the the sort of uh, prog blues and this was more a jazz fusion jazz uh, prog album uh, beautiful album it comes with a single it comes on actually on I think to show you it's orange vinyl and to complete the package that's why I always do a really nice job you get a really nice booklet about the band some great pictures get lots of stuff taken from magazines yeah that is really nice and that album like I say it's probably considered their best album uh, and I wouldn't disagree with that it's definitely a five-star album brilliant brilliant album and next up is their final I think album this was Milky Way Moses Grin and gain a nice really nice cover on this one Go. This is a, a rockier album than uh, Lambert Land, and uh, the lyrics on this, for most of the songs on this album, were done by Jim Pembroke of Wigwam. And with this, you get a poster with quotes from reviews about the album like I say far rockier than the other one but still an excellent album get back in there right and then we come to probably the most famous band to come out of uh, out of Finland and that's a wig one I only have two of their albums and the first is their third album Fair Report now this one is they probably from what I've read their first real stab at uh, full-on prog rock uh, though it make, does mix jazz prog pop all in one album I mean, this is again another beautiful job by, excuse me, <laughs> by Svart. They've done that. And then this side opens up with some great pictures of the band. And on, excuse me, this isn't easy. 
you get a book, a very good booklet. It's not easy to do. Oh, this is with the lyrics and pictures. The lyrics being in Finnish, most of the case. Are they? No, they're in English as well. well on this one, you, you tend to get the uh, sorry, I should have said this is a double. Uh, they had enough material for three sides, and then they put a sort of uh, long jam called Rave Up for the Roadies on the fourth side. The more proggy uh, stuff tends to be written by Yucca Gustavs and the keyboardist, while the poppier, shorter, lighter tracks are by Jim Pembroke, the uh, vocalist. Highly, highly recommended to all programmers. And the other one I've got by Wigwam is the fourth album, Being. Now this is a sort of a concept album mixing um, political and religious themes. Again, it's complex prog music, uh, but still having that lightness from Jim Pembroke. And again, they've done they've done this as a double album. The first uh, record being a the 2001 remaster of the album, and remix. And the second album is the original 1974 uh, mix. And again, it opens up, and you get. The information and pictures and again on the other side a booklet with the lyrics this really like I say picks up from where fairy port left off um, with some highly complex uh, music superb. What are we doing for time? Right. The next one is one of my again one of my favourites of uh, of these reissues, and that's by the band Voodoo. Well, I don't know if you if you meant to pronounce it Voodoo, but and it's called Taikaku. Kunin, whatever that means. Uh, and this was uh, originally released on a short lived, oops, wrong way around, label called UFO in 1971. I'll just show you. This, there you go, <laughs> you get all my notes. Now this album is um, sort of Latin influenced with a mixture of jazz and sort of, but from the name, Haitian ritual music with lyrics about beheading chickens and spirit worship. And I think this is the first time it's been reissued since its original issue in 1971. Excellent, excellent album. Right. I haven't shown the two al uh, the four albums that I showed in a previous video, which were the two first two solo albums by the Wigwam uh, keyboardist Jocke Gustafsson because uh, I've already shown those and the also the two albums by the Finnish guitarist Jukka Hauru information and episode but they are also very much worth having right as well as these individual albums Svart have released some box sets 
and the first is by the superb guitarist <coughs> excuse me from uh, Tassaval and Presidente Yucatan and it's called Elements and it comprises of four his four albums first four solo albums I'll show you. the first one from 1971 just called Tullonen And I think this was recorded when he was only 19 years old. And it's, an, uh, it's superb um, instrumental fu prog fusion. Best tracks are probably the Element Suite that starts off the album, and uh, maybe Mountains. Like, includes probably one of his most famous tracks called Rambling. Superb. That's the first one. His second album came is the uh, Summer Games and came out in 1973. Okay. And this is mellower and uh, more romantic than the one before, and probably what the one that will come after it. Uh, probably a, if you like your softer King Crimson, then this might would probably be up your street. The his third album was The Hook. Oops. and came out in 1974 okay. usual superb uh, musicians that we've mentioned before like Esa Kotalainen and Pekka uh, again excellent fusion and finally from the box set his fourth album, Hysterica, from 1975. Again, brilliant jazz fusion with his superb blistering guitar work. Worth having, I think you can get these individually as well as in the box set. Must have. Oh, finally, you do get a booklet with a box set again some nice photos and a timeline for his work at least in that period so all, all in all a superb box set to have Just put these over here the next one is another superb music musician uh, who played in Wigwam for four years, and that's Pekka Poichula. And this is solo in the 70s, the first four solo albums, 72 to 79. And he's classed as one of the best bassist, multi-instrumentalist, he plays uh, violin, piano, all sorts of keyboards and trumpet as well as the, the bass. And we start off with his first album called, let me work it out, Pich, Silma Kar Nakorva, and this is from 1972. And this is some really demanding, intricate jazz fusion. With some classical elements as well in there. And a little bit of Zappa influence. In fact, I've read that uh, Zappa actually wanted him to play with him after hearing 
his work. The beautiful cover is, is replicated on a record mat that you get with the box set, uh, which is currently on my residing on my uh, turntable. His second album is basically in English the Magpie, and again heavily influenced probably by Zappa's hot rat sort of period. But you can describe this as symphonic jazz rock with some sort of Nordic folk influences. Then we get his third album, Kison and Leto. This came out also on, on, I think, on Virgin. I had it on tape, I think, as the Mathematician's Air Display. And this one has Mike Oldfield playing on it, along with his uh, sister Sally on some wordless vocals. And you, well, you can see Mike Oldfield. <laughs> Uh, and also Gong's Pierre Malone plays drums on, on some of this. Really nice album. And finally, we get his fourth album from 1979, Visitation. And for this, he's actually joined by a brass section and also strings from the Helsinki Philharmonic. Um, this is really uh, sort of a synthesis of symphonic orchestration and jazzy solo, soloing. Excellent. And finally, it's so up to nearly half an hour, we have again another of my favourites, a band probably influenced by Mahavishnu Orchestra with bits of early uh, the mellow pro, uh, prog of say Camel and Caravan uh, and that is Finn Forest and this incorporates the three albums that they did but we in this box set we get five albums And we get, first off, one just called Singles, the 12 inch called Singles. And that incorporates three tracks that were originally just issued on single. First one in 1973, the second one in 1976. We then get on to their first self-titled album from 1975. There we go. This is an instrumental prog right up there with say Camel's uh, Snow Goose. Some lovely playing, particularly by the guitarist, because uh, this the guitarist is, I'm trying to find his name, Peckett. Tegelman, yeah, that's Pekka Tegelman, some, plays some excellent guitar on it. They had a bit of a, a change in personnel for their next album, Lato Matkele. This is from 1976. And this is a sort of shift away from the sort of symphonic prog of that first album to a much more fiery or instrumental jazz rock a la Mahavishnu Orchestra. Excellent album. Then we get their final album from 1979. This moves even further into the jazz rock uh, sphere. And this is called Demon Knights. And this features quite a lot of uh, guest musicians on this. 
shorter traps than before uh, but again great jamming ferocious dark jamming lots of guitar and percussion excellent for jazz rock lovers and finally we get a bonus album called the beginning and the end and this features uh, on the first side a previously unreleased studio session from 1973 three tracks and then on the B side we get another three tracks from another unreleased studio session from 1980 a superb band that everybody should really investigate well we're up to half an hour i should that should be it then really that's the end of the smart releases always worth checking out if you like jazz fusion 70s prog check them out uh, it's worth uh, signing up for their newsletter or on facebook because they often have um, sales regular sales uh, and it's, you can pick up some of their stuff quite a bit cheaper. And if you wait to the last week of the sale, they often knock another 10% off. Right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you found it of interest. Sorry if it was a bit of a rush through everything. If you want to find know anything more about any of the, the, uh, the albums, please comment below. Oh, and I'd just love to say thank you to every, not just to everybody who's watching, but everybody subscribed. I've hit 18 <laughs> subscribers. Uh, it's not a lot I know for most of you VCs, but uh, when I started doing these, I, d I thought I wouldn't even get one viewer, never mind uh, one subscriber. So th thanks very much. Take care. See you soon.